Sweet baby jelly. They stole the throne again. How is this becoming such a problem now? Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Herberts and Crafting. And we're flying right over the top of my big dig here, where we added some amazing new elements to it to really spookify the entire design for Halloween here. And we have these creepies and crawlies growing up the side of the wall, and a little scarlack. Or Scarlack? Is that what it's called? The Scarlack pit from Star Wars? That's kind of basically what we have poking out of the hole from the nether, looking absolutely fantastic. And I was so glad you guys liked this. And big thank you for all the support on this project. And I just love coming back here and see where my imagination takes me. Do I want to add this? Or do I want to add that? And see where we go from there. But as I said before, we have a lot more to come out here in the wilds of Hermitcraft for the Skyrex Corporation. So we have tons of fun stuff, but um, I just love, kind of like I said, coming back here, finding something new to add. And yeah, I hope you guys are continuing to like this project and see it evolve. By the way, we also have custom trees down here looking super fancy. I really love what Grian is doing here, documenting the jungle with these maps. And you can see where we started with Big Bud there before Big Bud drilled its way to the nether and just the simple little circle that we had long ago. And the most recent map here, you can see there has been some massive progress and that's not even half of it. Like we have a ton more stuff added since this map was done. So Grian, we need to update this to a new one. So with that, Let's get our episode rolling here, and once again, I'm just happy to have you here because we have a mega episode. That is right. Today's episode is going to be a mega build episode, and as you can see, I have been trading like crazy to get the resources that we need for our build today, and I'm so glad we put in the time for these villager halls because they are saving me so much time getting all the resources that we need for this project. And I've also been in the nether, grabbing up a ton of the warp stem and something that I never realized how beautiful it is. That is the shroom light. This block is everything I always wanted from Glowstone. It's got the warm light. It's got a better looking texture. You can mine it with your very own super hoe instantly. Like check this out. Here it is. Here's super hoe one. Watch this. Bam. Whereas glowstone, we have to like break it and there's a certain amount of time, no matter what tool you use. So yeah, that is a fantastic block. But what we're gonna be building today, finally, oh, speaking of Tango, he's here. We need to build a massive building to house, <laughs> this is so good, the mycelium incinerator. And boy, do I got some plans for that. So buckle up, keep your hands and arms inside the Starship Good Times because we're, we're going, ow, ow, is apparently into Iskull's tree. They defaced the Merrill headquarters again. What is that? It's some kind of mushroom arrow. Yeah, look at it. It's made of mushrooms and there's little mushrooms inside. They are basically trying to infect me with what's infected them. Clever guys, clever, I see how it is. Jeez Louise. What are those little beady eyes? <laughs> it's like a snake or something. That's a, oh gosh, that's funny. That's like a mushroom monster. Okay, that's clever being at the, the, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to fall inside. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's creepy. That's like a warped version of my face. Help me get out of here. I tell you this, I am never gonna financially recover from this. We lost everything, all the diamonds in the buyback program, and I'll admit it, I made some terrible mistakes, and I'm never gonna financially recover from this. I'm sorry, Jelly. I, I don't know where you're gonna get your next meal from. <laughs> Oh, but every one of these boxes turns out to be full of mycelium. And yeah, the uh, the resistance took advantage of the buyback program. On a positive note, I think we basically have every bit of mycelium they have. So the mega build that we're going to do today couldn't have come at a better time. Looks like the resistance left their firework box here. <laughs> oh. Hmm, we've grounded them. They turned Tango Shop into mushrooms. <laughs> That's cheeky. You think the hits are done? They defaced Mount Scarmore now. I I look absolutely hideous. But I'll say this, Jelly <laughs> Jelly looks pretty cute. That'll haunt your dreams. I look like I may have uh, went outside without sunscreen. Whew. I am very pale. And I do agree. 
B-dubs is number one. I'm kind of feeling like maybe my poll numbers have dropped at this point. <laughs> but here's me working hard here in the shopping district to bring the roads, to bring the natural balance of the beauty of the island back where mushrooms and grass live in harmony. But ah, there's some ruffians out there that making that job hard. So I need to do something that'll make me a little bit happier. What's gonna make me happy is that I have found this super cool waterfall that basically looks like a white water rafting course. So of course we've got to take it. <laughs> oh, oh man, that was fun. Where am I? Where am I now? Oh, oh wow, do we go under the bridge? Oh man, I feel so much better now. And ready to take on those ruffian mushroom fellas and we are gonna start working on our projects. So. What we're going to be working on is a massive warehouse slash factory that will house a bunch of hips machines to cleanse the shopping district of all that mycelium pollution. And it is going to be amazing. I've even developed an entire backstory for this project. Oh, no. Wow, that tree is super deadly. How did we die so fast? What in the world? Well, uh, reviewed the footage there. Realized I had uh, one heart. Uh, with everything going on, I, <laughs> I hope you don't blame me for not realizing that. <laughs> Originally, this idea was going to be built on the backside of the cliffs of Hep Tower, but I thought about this a little longer and my imagination outgrew that idea where now we need to build our own island to house this massive factory. I haven't been feeling very well over the last couple days and it's given me a lot of time to think about how the build is going to look and well, even if it has a backstory and I don't know if this is a real canon for Hermitcraft or just a fun canon, if you will, just for us. But the idea is that the town hall and now this factory have been here long before the hermits arrived, back before the mycelium menace, back when basically grass and mushrooms lived together in a symbiotic relationship. And that, of course, is what Hip is fighting for. And with this island, it used to create a product called Mushroom Pop, <laughs> basically a soda made of mushrooms. It's a uh, Sounds amazing and disgusting at the same time. And Hip has found this factory where it has conveyor belts and it has blast furnaces and things along those lines that, well, Hip needs to fight against the mycelium resistance. We just need to build an island first. super fast build mode and we've got a giant flat pancake for an island with a little bit of butter rolling off the sides there and this is truly the absolute greatest unintentional mob farm that i've ever created go back in that time lapse and see where i was just inundated with mobs i i truly have never seen so many in my entire minecraft life halloween truly did come early <laughs> But yeah, I am super happy with this. Now, this is one of those times where I have to ask you to trust me because I know it looks a little bit rough at the moment, the whole island design, but it will look good in the end. It just looks a little awkward at the moment. And with that, we need to start working on our warehouse. And this is going to be a very big bill. We're like three and a half days into this video. So the way I'm going to connect this island 
to the little island is a little natural arch bridge. So we'll just connect it via stone and dirt, similar to what we did in season six with our connection between the volcano island and the main island. So it'll be a really cool connection between these two islands, which I think will make it feel way more natural. By the way, finally figured out what this incredibly scary thing is. It's Mumbo. And it is a Halloween shop where we can get a Halloween skin. So that is perfect because, well, I don't have one this season. And the book here, I read through it. There is 40 pages of nothing until the end where it says this process is not currently reversible. So, what? Hello? <laughs> So that might be a bit of a problem, but I'm also very excited about a Halloween costume. So end of the episode, I guess we're getting a new skin. The first thing I want to do here is to build the front facade just to give you a feeling of the texture, the design and the overall feeling that this structure will convey. And then we hit super fast build mode and build out the entire thing. But as you can see across the water here, we have Shulker beachside resort and with all these shulker boxes is all of the supplies that we are going to need for this massive 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 project and it's going to be absolutely insane so like i said let's build the facade and then we hit super fast build mode well i think we're gonna have to light up a build for the first time in all of my years because this <laughs> This is a little bit dangerous. We are living life on the edge, my friends. <laughs> it is a little bit fun to fly through here and just think like, man, I'm the greatest unintentional technical Minecraft player. Like nobody can make efficient farms like I can. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Don't blow up the Pancake Island. <laughs> you blew Pancake Island up. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. I just can't get over how absolutely insane this is the start of the structure is now materializing now this was inspired by a game that i've never played yet but now really want to and it's like anno 18 1889 or something like that it uh, looks really really fun and some of the concept art was very beautiful with these turn of the century big warehouse like structures and that's kind of the overall design that i took with this and i'm very very pleased that i did I have a thing about getting bored of styles quickly, right? We build the modern uh, head building. I'm like, modern was fun. Now I want to try something else. And, well, we did. <laughs> we have a turn of the century warehouse slash factory looking super fancy. And we definitely still need to uh, fix the hole in the giant pancake. Also, we pulled a green here on the back end and haven't finished it yet. <laughs> so we definitely have to do that. But my friends, let's hit super fast build mode. And well, complete this factory and this might take more than a day.
super fast build mode and boy was this one of the largest builds that we have ever done in a single episode this thing is absolutely massive and highly detailed over the course of the week where i've been sick all i've been able to do is just tinker around with the design to figure out what would make it even better and i'm so glad i found this anti or anto or anto game um it looks really fun so i'm definitely going to have to get this soon and it, yeah it just inspired me to create like this old turn of the century factory and warehouse now there is still a lot still to do here as you can see this pillar is not texturized yet so there's still more to do but i am a very very happy with the start of this we are going to put smokestacks on the back section there and then if you can see these windows here that are broken out they remind me of an old movie back in the day called um what was it called stop or my mom will shoot my brother used to love watching that before we ever traveled to la and it was like every time we travel to la well we gotta watch uh, stop or my mom will shoot and there was a warehouse scene and it reminded me of this so i had to add like broken windows but i am so tired of looking at salmon and turquoise blocks that i want to go to the halloween shop here and put on a halloween costume let's read the book Welcome to the Hermitcraft Spoof the Vacation Chamber. With Halloween on the horizon, it's time for some Hermit Horrors. Set your spawn, remove all your armor items, and put them in the chest. Deposit 16 diamonds into the chest, and the Spoof of the Chamber will open. Jump in. It will tickle, then burn. <laughs> You'll want to die, as the pain is so bad. Then you will die, but somehow the pain will continue, and then you'll probably die. Wow, what have I gotten into? And then you are spooky. Woo, wow. Mumbo really knows how to write a book. <laughs> okay, let's see. Payments, make sure the payment is fully processed before... Oh, I was like, before, before, before what? Dropping in just in case something goes wrong. Also, you always know this is something Mumbo created because of the uh, jungle signs. Mumble only uses jungle signs. Stand on the iron to enter this chamber. <laughs> Stand on the iron and enter this chamber. Okay, so, okay, those go in there and we just, <gasps> oh, oh no. Hi, hello. Oh, this is bad. Oh, well, what's going on? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I was so confused. I thought it would be spooky. I feel like I fell into a game show. All right, what? Okay, this is not the bed that I was looking for. <laughs> now we gotta hightail it back over there to get our stuff. Oh, I thought, I just realized, wait, we got a skin. <laughs> oh, what am I? I've got, I've got some stains on my, on my jumper or whatever this is, overalls. Oh, I've been around British people too long calling things jumpers. I'm a scarecrow. That's what I am. It took me a second and I've got a pumpkin head. <laughs> this is uh, this is really well done. I, I, oh man, I, I'm kind of in love with this skin. I just scared the sheep away. <laughs> this was the best 16 diamonds I've ever spent. I, I honestly feel like I should give more. <laughs> I feel like I should. <laughs> Here, here's 11 more. Here's 11 more. Here's 11 more. I, I probably goofed this up. Oh no, Mumbo. I'm so sorry. I was... I was just trying to give a tip. Oh no. There's the difference. That 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 should fix this. I'm 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 so sorry. Oh man. I I'm so happy right now. This thing looks so cool. <laughs> also, the only the only problem is like I really don't like stains. I have an aversion to any stains on my shirt. If I have a stain on my shirt, that shirt right there is done for. When I was a young Scar, I would see other kids that I was playing with full of stains. And I was wondering, why must you have stains? Why have you done these things to get stains? I was a weird kid. Well, after that, I feel so much better and refreshed that I can now tackle this build once again. And I cannot wait to see what the other hermits do inside this build once we unleash it to the other hit members. But we've got more work to do. And what we got to do is build some smokestacks on the back. And I tried a couple in the time lapse and they didn't look very good. So I'm going to think about it a little longer in how these smokestacks are going to go. Is it one? Is it two? Maybe it's three. One in the middle, one off to the side. Who knows what it is? Because what I made before wasn't that great. So 
Let me try one more time. Now that is what I'm talking about. Those are some very foreboding chimneys sticking out of our factory. We've got hip or hip, a hippity hip, a hip life written out on the top there, looking absolutely fantastic. Now there is definitely more things that I want to add to this, cranes and docks and boats and all of those wonderful things, but sadly there is just not enough hours and or clicks left in my fingers to add any more blocks to this today. But what we do need to do is we need to add the signs inside to start giving the other hep members some idea on what we're going to do in here, but it is very, very scary in here. So I'm going to need to light this up, but I ran out of torches. I only have like five soul torches left. <laughs> uh, we need a lighting up build service here on the server. Wow, that uh, was quite an effort to light that place up. There, as you can see, a lot of creeper holes and explosions, but on a positive note, I didn't die and I got this area all lit up. So welcome to the former home of... Moo Pop or Mushroom Pop, where the ancient people made soda in here, and HEP, Herman Environmental Protection Agency, has commandeered this ancient and forgotten factory and used its conveyor belts to create machines that will build in the future to heal the cows, the cows that have overcome in fungus, and we'll bring them here and we'll convert them back into normal cows. In the center here, I envision the use of the blast furnace from the old factory to incinerate mycelium now, and of course, some kind of vault over here that we're going to store all the mycelium that we got from the throne. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's basically all the mycelium they have. I mean, how much more could they have? That is a ton. I mean, look at it all. It It's just so much. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we have the rocket box. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, we've been so caught up with the factory build that uh, I kind of pushed this out of my mind. It's so hard on me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do something with this, right, Jelly? I mean, why are you even standing on that Jelly? I mean, it's gotta be disgusting, but... Uh, so yeah, we're going to pack up all this mycelium in the next episode and send it on over to our factory where we'll have a vault and of course an incinerator machine. So we need to meet up with the others and see what they would like to do inside of here because I can't wait to see what the other hermits can come up with to populate the interior of ow, our new massive factory here, which is absolutely amazing. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch videos. And if you believe the video is already rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life.